Guys and welcome to the daily predictions. We are going to talk about how the energy of fourth of uh, December is going to be for you. Pio is laughing. <laughs> okay, so fourth uh, of December the energy is very beautiful, and the way that I have chosen the cards now, I realize that there are no sun cards in the uh, in the tarot so far. I've uh, kind of bought, so I will look for if there are any sun cards in the uh, tarots uh, that are existing. And uh, so I took up the cards which are light cards. So this is light seers. Uh, the other one is keepers of the light. and then there is sun and moon and then i took up the cards of hidden realms and hidden wisdom because there is a solar eclipse on 4th so uh, because there is a tendency to hide things uh, i have picked up these cards so that this solar eclipse works in a different way and whatever is hidden that comes to light so that is the uh, intention behind picking up these cards and i hope this intention works uh, and this the cards create their magic and um, looking at the cards the first card that i have uh, is knight of pentacle If you see this card, this person is leaving a money trail behind, and I wanted to interpret the cards in the Hindi video as well for the present scenario, which I forgot totally, or probably I was not meant to. But I do feel there is something with the money trail. Either either it is going to come out very very strongly, or it is going to be suppressed. So there is something that is going to happen with that uh, situation. But if you see, there is a trail uh, that this person is leaving behind, and this person is moving forward. There is a bag that this person is carrying, which has a pentacle. He's carrying a small pentacle in his hand. So there is a small pentacle in his hand. He's walk walking barefooted, and there is a horse who is following him. Now it feels like he's some kind of a prince or something because the horse is all decorated, but he's chosen to kind of walk on his feet. Now barefooted, uh, barefoot, uh, bare feet. It just basically means that you're grounded. You're connected to the energy of planet Earth. This. means that you are actually leaving everything behind that is not needed that is just a weight that you are carrying and you are carrying only the essentials with you and you are moving forward so uh, first of all i feel that the energy is where you have to let go of every every weight that you are carrying with you so all the negativity all the unnecessary things all the unnecessary burden that you are carrying with you let go of that second uh, divine is watching your back so believe in your strength and be grounded because you are being watched you are being taken care of Okay, so I need to cater to certain emergencies in between. So, okay. So, uh, looking at this card, so basically, whatever is not required for you, whatever is the burden that you are carrying, or you've been carrying from years or for, from a long time, it is time to leave that burden behind. Leave all those uh, negativities, problems, issues, material things. Leave all of that behind and move forward. But also, if you are traveling or moving, be who. if you're traveling or moving or you're going somewhere and you have something important with you to carry like an important documentation uh, something that you really need some papers some id something ensure that you keep that in your handbag or you keep that very very close to you because i do feel that there is a possibility that you might just um, something just might go missing or you might lose on to something so uh, you will have to ensure that whatever is required you are carrying that in your handbag or carrying that in your hand other than that i do feel that the energy is where you have to keep yourself completely grounded and balanced now the next card here that i have is queen of cups now if you see this card the queen uh, the the queen of cups is is completely into meditation she's completely into balance she's completely into herself and a new portal is kind of opening up right behind her there's a crown that is coming down and her energies are completely kind of open and completely kind of strong uh, the crown she's wearing is not on her crown like on on her head but this is on the soul chakra which is like little above than her hand head that means that she's being crowned by the nature uh, there is a fish here in her uh, throat or or a scarf kind of a thing but usually like a queen of cups is with a fish but it feels like there is a scarf uh, design uh, kind of something that she is wearing on in her neck and uh, there is an energy where her throat chakra is open her energies are open her energies are balanced there is a fish here and uh, emotional balance is very very important meditation is very very important and if you think if you see there is a singing bowl here so if possible do meditate uh, for tomorrow at least do meditate and if you don't get time to meditate or if you don't know how to meditate you can join a live or you can watch any of the previous live videos there is a meditation in between that we do and uh, that meditation will also help but the meditation energy is going to help you the energy of your connecting with your inner self and the energy of understanding these different portals and different dimensions and opening up to receiving that energy is a must and when you open up to receive that energy you are going to receive that energy also i do feel that if there is something that is lost or something that you are trying to find something that you are trying to achieve something that you are trying to get to 
ensure that you connect with your inner self you connect with your intuition and you will be guided to the right path perfectly well now this is uh, for this is this is uh, yes this is number 4 this is number 3 so that makes it 7 uh, so there is an energy of 7 next card that i have is the star card uh, and star card if you see there's a loop that she's put on to the star and she's actually holding on to the star now imagine if we know that sun is also a star so uh, there's an energy of solar eclipse that has come and there's an energy where uh, the the sun is actually into that loop and if this uh, the sun kind of goes up this portal opens up and the sun goes up uh, she's holding on to it so well that she's going to go along with it and if either or she will be able to pull the sun down and pull the sun down means pull the light down which means pull bring in the light to the world now this is an energy that i do feel that that is opening up with this new portal that is uh, opening up on the fourth with the solar eclipse and if you keep your self balanced if you keep yourself into your energy if you keep yourself into your control if you know how to look at the energies and how to balance yourself there is new energies new dimensions that are opening up for you and you're going to experience that very very beautifully um, i do feel uh, some kind of reward or recognition also coming your way and i do feel some kind of celebration also coming into your life because there is a king uh, knight of wands card and now this is 8 and this is 3 8 plus 3 11 so there is an energy of 7 11 and uh, i don't know what is with the 7 11 energy but i do feel that this is an energy which is very very strong energy of a very strong change and 11 i'm seeing almost Uh, every day from last few days and that be basically means that the energies are opening up now if you see she's actually drumming she's singing she's dancing she's very happy there is a four of four wands right behind her four of wands is a sign of four of wand cards which is celebration there's a horse here that's dancing that's also happy and uh, that is why there's a lot of uh, energy of happiness announcement um, kind of uh, some kind of com things coming to light some kind of things being announced and some kind of things some kind of fire kind of coming to the reality or coming to the connection and start uh, the sun is also a fire energy so i do feel that something is going to come to light something and now some a big announcement is going to happen some big big star is going to come down pull down and uh, there is a lot of dance of happiness that is going to happen around that and the last Card is eight of pentacles, so seven, seven, eleven, and eight basically means two things. One, there is an energy of four, which is an energy of um, uh, you know meditation, connecting with self, realizing yourself, uh, connecting with your soul, and also there is an energy of seven, eleven, and eight, which means seven, eleven, strengthened, further more strength to that. And if you see here, she's put this uh, uh, feather uh, down, so she's not writing anymore. The diaries are closed. She's done her work. She's picked up a candle, which is about to be go finished, and um, like about to be over and if you see there is uh, the sunlight that has all come out there is a cycle of the moon that has ended and now there is feast there is food here there are flowers here there is feast that she is ready to kind of indulge in so the work is done uh, the task is done and now is the energy where you celebrate or where you balance yourself and where you get into that energy of celebration now few things one take care of wa your water intake second ensure you meditate and you keep yourself grounded uh, third ensure that uh, whenever there is an energy where something happens whether it is uh, losing on to something or getting something you are into a balanced energy and uh, yes there is a energy where you are going to have a certain kind of return for what the work that you've done or the things that you've done so definitely there is an energy which is opening up of something and the energy is becoming better stronger more balanced and if you believe in yourself you're going to experience those energies even more strong. strongly and i do see two knights so uh, knight of wands i usually kind of uh, connect this card with authorities with agencies with police those kind of uh, things and uh, they are doing lot of work and probably we are going to see them catching something very big or someone very big and uh, there's an energy of knight of uh, pentacle which is again like a knight or uh, somebody who um, who knows a lot or somebody who is prepared for a lot and who's ready to be the king and there's one energy of the queen there so i do feel that energy our big time opening up and you're going to experience certain beautiful beautiful things on fourth now the next card that i have is the uh, card from keepers of the light and this is hol uh, holy holy amethyst amethyst is the stone of uh, power it is the stone of uh, security safety energy strength and if this says move beyond current challenges and focus on what you desire so it is very important for you to let go of all the challenges that you've been uh, put yourself into and it is open your heart open your heart and actually move forward for what you desire because for what you desire is coming your way so i'm going to read this card out from the book as well and um, i don't do these for the, this for these 
these cards but i was guided to and when i realized when i looked at the looked at the book and i realized that the number of this um, uh, this card uh, which is holy amethyst is uh, 46 which is actually number 10 so um this card basically says your the holy amethyst so this card basically says that um it is a twin flame of archangel uh, zedekiel and the angels who help to transmute negative experiences into love and learning is a keeper of violet flame and this energy is that you are ready to move beyond energies or situations that are no longer helpful to you um and you make space in your life for something more purposeful you may feel a real need of clearing out not just mentally or emotionally but physically too there is a sense that you are moving beyond challenges and forging golden opportunities from stagnant to or or happy experiences it's important to recognize that you are like a magician at this time with the ability to use your thoughts will and action to bring about life fulfilling and dream enhancing opportunities it is important to focus on your desire and not what you fear because what you give your energy will literally begin to flourish call the holy amethyst to help you focus on golden opportunities now that's the energy that whatever you focus on you're going to bring that into your life right so don't focus on the clutter don't focus on what you are carrying uh, negative and focus on what you want focus on celebration and you will actually increase that celebration in your life the next set of cards that i got are from uh, the uh, hidden uh, wisdom uh, and uh, the wisdom of hidden realms and uh, the first card that i got is the resting tree which is patience and stillness and the next uh, which is 22 which i said there is an energy of 4 and then there is an energy of 5 which is dragon's duel and it card says this card says in a conflict morality conscious choice now this is the card which says that one you need to kind of have patience balance yourself balance your energy see the things for what they are meditation is going to be primarily important please take out some time to meditate today don't miss it but yes uh, rest and have patience because energies are changing and the next card is dragon basically if you see two dragons are fighting with you now you will have to decide what is ruling you is is your soul guiding you or is your ego guiding you and you will have to make a choice as to what you want to move forward with this is an energy which is again very strong <clears throat> where you need to let go of uh, something and you need to move forward to something so this card says that dragon's duel takes place at the probable for fork in the road uh, the both ally and the challenge at uh, at once and it represents the tension of opposites even though the truth is that we live in unity we experience the duality of faith and doubt love and fear right and wrong black and white this aspect of your current experience ask you to accept that although you may be going one way another may call you to the change or to change direction now is the time to inquire whether it's your ego or the soul leading you the, there are always choi- choices in life decision making also solves inner conflict if you are torn between two dragons and one that who choose to feed will be the one that wins um which is it and if it's not the one that serves the highest of your intentions deliberately feed the other and the duel will be one in your favor which means that right now you have to choose where where you are feeding your ego or are you feeding uh, the positivity the soul so whatever you are feeding on to um, or whatever you are feeding with your thoughts is going to win so ensure that you are not giving any uh, any uh, attention to the negativity or the negative thoughts so that you don't make the negative dragon win the ego dragon win but you you give all the attention to positivity so that you make the positive dragon win and that is completely in your hands now the next card that i have is from the hidden uh, from the hidden worlds uh, oracle of the hidden worlds and this card is the mirror and it says other lives past lives dimensional lives and if you see there is a mirror but in in fact it is a new dimension that is opening up so this is how uh, this is the energy of how we look at life and this is 337 which is 10 and this is the energy how we look at life there are new dimensions that are opening up and there is no better day than sun uh, this uh, solar eclipse to bring in this energy and i think this energy will be carried to the next also because this is saturday and uh, day after is sunday so the energy is going to be carry forwarded so this card basically says we are uh, the many born who move through time and space beyond the lines drawn by men we dance upon the web of connection and circle around thousands upon thousands upon thousands time you have been a star and stone flower and bark deer and dancer priestess and servant girl wizard and serf we move through forms friend not simply those of human but those of the elements and when we turn the face uh, turn and face all of who we have been 
we can awaken little by little even piece of wisdom each piece of wisdom until we are whole and entered fully into this life to share what we were brought here to do you are now at this point of realization starting into the mirror st staring into the mirror um it is as if each memory you can find its way to the surface of your skin and you can connect with the multitude multitudes who dwell within us you identify not will not you your identity will not shatter you will not fragment instead you will become more whole and complete more present than ever before let yourself know the truth you are earth and air and water and fire you are priestess and poet slave and revolutionary you are experiencing the spectrum of events through lifetimes in this one life and you can now understand your vows or connections relationships and compulsions as they were formed within other times it is time to assess which you can release yourself from and which must be honored and respected and nurtured in this lifetime many born one or other lives are here and in the hidden worlds waiting for you to remember stare into the mirror and see all of who you are and the uh, illumination is i am a dimensional being who has lived thousands of life all with their wisdom and lessons to teach so yes you are a uh, a a divine uh, energy who has been into all kind of elements all kind of lives and it is the time where we realize that energy and, and again i'm saying that this portal is going to help us realize this energy because we have been talking about different dimensions soul and the energy is opening up and the dimensions opening up we are going to experience it more strongly i i feel from a fourth it is going to be more even more stronger so let's see i'm going to take out the additional message from uh, the uh, sun and moon and uh, also i forgot to kind of uh, interpret it into the present situations but i did kind of in the in this video i did right because i feel that forces are going to catch hold of some star so let's see what happens okay so uh, um, let's see what is the additional message that we need to know um, guides and angels what is the additional message that we need to get for 4th of december 2021 what is the additional message okay so we have three cards and two are very beautiful and third is also very beautiful so we have three cards and i'm going to uh, get out uh, take out one more card for clarity the first card is two of cups which is the card of love which is uh, energies coming together people coming together um uh, situations coming together the second card is king of wands which is actually moving beyond all kind of challenges he's moving beyond this fire, fire and the third card is victory which is six of wands which is actually when you end up the struggle and you actually reach a space where you are uh, victorious where you are experiencing that victory now number wise this is king which is 5 uh, 6 plus 5 is 11 and there is 2 so 11 plus 2 is actually 4 that energy of 4 again patience and stillness and i think that in some areas of your life your patience are going to pay you off i also feel that king of wands who we call the king of wands there might be some kind of announcement or victory that comes into his life so he might achieve something and might share it with everybody else I I do feel there is some kind of a relationship energy that is being nurtured and that will that will become stronger and uh, I am going to take out a few more cards just for clarification but I do feel that some challenges are going to be overcome there is some kind of victory that you you we are going to experience it could be in your personal life that you are overcoming certain challenges that you were stuck with or certain relationship challenge or certain challenge that you were supposed to kind of get over or it could be in the in 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 in, in like the professional front where you end up uh moving on to a challenge and uh, get some recognition or reward and also there is a lotus here not to forget so let's see anything else that we need to know okay so i get the queen of cups energy who has become a small little child again okay so we i get the queen of cups energy and along with that i get the energy of strength beautiful and this strength card is by the way number 11 and we get that energy of uh, 4 and 11 again okay so this is also like 11 and 2 which is um, which makes it 4 and now this is also 4 11 uh, like 4 uh, uh, this is 4 and this is 11 so this again is a victory energy which is which makes it 
six also which makes it eight also so the, again the strength energy is very strong and this card uh, says that if you see that this card says that queen of cups that energy here you need to connect with yourself you need to feed your right right energy for you uh, you have to uh, meditate and you have to balance yourself and probably it might be that you are getting bored waiting for certain things to happen but there are things happen you see that snake kind of getting up uh, the leg uh, and there is a butterfly that is coming so that is there is a trans transformation that is happening and you're going to see that transformation soon and 11 number is usually the card of justice so i do feel that this has to do with justice also that you've been waiting with all the strength and then finally you see something coming your way so there is a flow that is going to come so for something that you deserve in life something that were, that was meant to happen for you it is going to come back and queen of cups shows a very strong presence twice uh, which means that it can be actually a queen uh, like a person uh, who comes into the presence or uh, who comes into the open or or it could also be the energy that that is of energies like the energy of meditation energy of balance so i hope this helps you if it does please share it with everyone else and press the like button and uh, leave the feedback um thank you so much take care of yourself have a good day bye bye